Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be looking at what's inside a WOW Japanese candy subscription box. Oh wow! On the other side of this sheet it gives me details of what's in this box. Oh no, there's a kid in here. I mean, oh yay! I'm great at those. They also send you nutrition facts. So if you want to know, you know, if you're really health conscious and want to know what's going into your body, if you're one of those people, I'm not. Oh wow, I feel so bad eating this. I'm poisoning my body, but I keep doing it. But it's a good idea anyway, isn't it? So let's get started because there's a big massive box of things to get through. Yes! This one is Tusnugut et Rumun Grape Plus Soda. It smells fizzy. That's not a smell, is it? <laughs> Oops! Oh, cool! So I looked at the packaging and you've got to link these together. Oh, these ones are cheating. They're already together. I wanted to do that. Get off! You get two different flavors. One, like, it looks like a C shape and one's like an A shape. They're probably not. They're probably just supposed to look like links. I guess I just link these together. Oh, stop it. I want to do it. Let me do it. So then you just, oh, I don't feel like this is right. I know what you're thinking. Linking things together, it can't be hard. It is. Is this right? Some of them are already linked up. I don't know why I'm so distressed about that, but I am. Oh, well look, you get the idea. You link them up. This is how they've done it on the packaging. Now let's look at mine. Mine unlinked itself. Weird. Oh, it's slightly chewy. Ooh. Oh, it has a lovely grape flavor to it, but it's kind of like powdery, but then it's chewy as well. Unexpected consistency. Ugh. Trying to work out if I like these or not. <laughs> Obviously the flavor of two kinds of soda. I chewed it and I was expecting it to be like fizzy candy or something. The flavour in it is not too bad. It's quite nice. It's got a lovely grape flavour. Not undecided on this one, but it's fun to play with. And that's the thing. If your food's not going to taste any good, then it might as well be fun to play with. Hours of fun there. Guess after you've linked all the chain together and then you could unlink it again or you could like link it up to your mouth and make it kind of look like jewellery. Attach it to your lip and then to your chin. Uh, really. This review's over. This is a Goku Yuya Hiratsi. It's mellow berry, everyone. The pink filling on this is really attractive to me. Oh. Oh. Kind of looks like a doorbell. I always compare my food to doorbells. What does it look like to you? Kind of looks like some coasters I have as well. I'll just go grab one of my coasters so you can have a look at it and we can do the comparison. All right, <laughs> here I am. See, this is my coaster. Can you see how similar they are? I, I just wanted you to see that for some reason. Oh. Oh, yum. I love this one. It's got this really tasty chocolate on the outside and this is like a sponge sort of cake thing and in the inside it's like a berry cream filling. It's delicious. Super Mario gummy candies. I love the packaging on this. I mean anyone that loves Super Mario has got to love this and there's the back of it. What's that? It's Super Mario's head. Well can you see them? Oh, hello. Oh. oh wow cool so they come in different shapes what different shapes do you get well you get Mario's head you get a lot of Mario's heads actually predominantly actually you know what only two of these are different shapes and all the rest of them are Mario's head maybe there's a reason for that and I think it's just random and I oh no maybe it's not no it's not I've gotten a star I've shown you the back of it there's the front of it it's got a face on it I feel like this is some kind of a code I feel like I've got to break it I also feel like I won't break the code oh mm. it's got quite a nice cola flavor through this gummy candy I would get this again, it's delicious, but you have to like cola because you get a whole packet of cola flavored things. If you like oh, sugar, 
If you like colored flavored things, then you're gonna love these little cola gummy candies. Pai no mi winter. I read that off the sheet, everyone. Are they little baby apple pies? It's got a microwave on the back. I don't have to microwave these, do I? No, I don't. I was so worried I was gonna have to make like a baby mini apple pie just then. <laughs> but I'm not up to it, I'm not ready. Oh, the stress. Well? Oh, you can't see it, sorry. Oh! Oh, they, they're little. I thought they were gonna be like, like that. Oh, they smell quite nice. Oh, they're really light and flaky. It's weird because the puff pastry is apple flavor and the inside, I think it's chocolate. Let me bite one in half and show you. No. The puff pastry on the outside is just normal puff pastry, everyone. It's not apple flavored. There's no such thing as apple flavored puff, puff pastry. And on the inside is like an apple flavored chocolate. It's an apple flavored chocolate. Like it tastes like apple pie inside, but it's chocolate. They're really quite tasty. I'm just really quite surprised by this thing. I've never seen or had anything like this before. See, that's a picture of it on the outside and that's my one. Oh, actually they do look pretty similar, don't they? I was gonna say it looks nothing alike, but it does, scrap that. It's an apple pie in puff pastry and chocolate form. Ooh. Fitz gum, and these ones are hot cola flavor. Hot cola. I didn't know that was a flavor. Oh yeah. Yeah, it says it on it, yeah. As soon as you open this, it's just like, bam, collar. Oh. You're probably all wondering what hot cola flavor is. It's like cola in attack mode, I suppose. Kind of like cola with pepper. I kind of just feel like the cola flavor is being mean to me. I mean, I think some people out there would absolutely love the flavor of this and think it's really addictive. Oh, yeah, oh. It's like every now and then I start to enjoy it and then it goes <coughs> My descriptions aren't the best. I'm enjoying it. It's like, Oh, it's me, it's cola. And then it's like And then it's like Oh no, it's cola. It's the best way to describe it. Hot cola. <laughs> Time for a beverage break and today I have a ramune. I do like the design of this. Look at the little fish on there. And this actually is not a glass bottle, it's plastic. Look at this. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? Let's open this up. I'm going to put it on the table behind me. I can zoom in so you can see me opening this. Take that bit off. So you're left with this little thing here. And then you just put it in here. Hopefully you'll get to see the marble drop down. Oh sugar! Oh sugar! As you can see, there's a little blue marble in there. How beautiful is this? I love that. At this stage, it's so beautiful, I don't even care what it tastes like. Cheers. Oh, well, it's just like a lemonade flavored soda or Sprite, I think you call it in America. It's weird having that marble in there. I kind of feel like my drink is alive. It's probably not as sweet as the lemonade Sprite we get here, but it is quite nice and refreshing. Look, it's a lot of fun. I think everyone has to get one of these just to try it and open it up, because seeing that marble go down is pretty exciting. It's quite dramatic, isn't it? Suppo Macho Sour Cream Crisps. That looks like Shin Chan's grand. There seems to be some sort of family resemblance. Not a good one either. There they are. Oh, chips. I love chips. Mmm. So it's got a nice balance of flavor between the sour cream and the onion in it. They're crispy, they're tasty, delicious. I love them. 
Well that's it for part one of the wow box. If you'd like to see the second part, I'll be posting that video up tomorrow. I'll leave a link in the description below to the wow box so you can go and check out their site. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.